everybody! Are you looking for something delicious and easy and healthy recipe? Today, I'm making mung bean porridge. It's called nokduju in Korean. Nokdu means mung beans. Mung bean porridge is very delicious and you can make it so so easily. In Korean cuisine, porridge is very important and considered as a snack or a light meal. I have already posted many many recipes. Remember you guys? I just made with black sesame seeds, pine nuts, and butternut squash, and what else? Beef and vegetables and chicken. But today, I'm going to add this easy and simple delicious recipe, porridge, made with mung beans. Here you go. Mung bean. This is a dried and skinned mung beans. Real whole mung beans, dried mung beans, green color, as you know. I use this because it's very easy and fast. Everybody knows mung beans have a lot of, lot of nutrients, vitamin A, C, E, and also lots of protein. Of course, good for small children, babies. When babies are ready to eat something and they have some like a small teeth coming out, we Korean housewives make porridge. Let's open. This is bowl with a strainer. And I will use one cup. One cup mung beans. Half a cup rice. Let's wash this and soak in cold water. Rubbing like this. Water is very clear. Soak this for one hour. One hour passed. I'm going to strain this. Then we can cook. Medium high heat. When pot is heated, let's add some sesame oil, around two teaspoons. Just still wet. And stir it. Keep stirring around two minutes with a wooden spoon. If we don't keep stirring, the bottom is going to be burnt. You can see this rice is a little translucent. Then let's add water. Six cups water. and cover this, let it cook over medium high heat for around 20 minutes. But you gotta keep watching because it's easily boiling over. And then when this is boiling over, just you know, you know that this method, just half a cover with the lid. I'm going to set timer for 20 minutes. It's boiling over. Just stir this. You remember last in my last video, this uh, gimbuga. Oh. See with the chips, we made this. I'm going to add this to my porridge to uh, make it more delicious and crunchy. Let's fry gimbuga, rice paste pot down. One, two, three, four, five. And turn it over. Three, four, five. Again, turn it over. Two. Three, four, five, ten. One, two, three. Look at this, it's beautiful. I like to make this a little more crunchy. It's great, beautiful, gorgeous. Okay. And then. So our gimbogak is already prepared. So I'm going to use, you can add this whole gimbogak to one bowl, one large bowl, or just you can just split for two servings. I like to give it a stir. This porridge is very important in Korean cuisine. 
there is a lot of beautiful and touching stories melted in Korean porridge. <laughs> the 20 minutes passed. Even now, this is a porridge, but I like to make it more softer. And then I'm going to really lower the heat. And 10 minutes. Oil and cook. Sesame seeds. Oh. This is my oil and cook, cucumber, cold cucumber soup. And then porridge is done. Gorgeous, isn't it? So yellow, beautiful color. Let's turn off. We didn't add any salt for this amount, one teaspoon salt. Well, mix this. This is servings for uh, four people, four servings. But if you are hungry, two servings. If you are really hungry, one serving. <laughs> Break this and on top. Let me taste. Wow, it's hot. Mm. Yummy. This nokdujuk by itself is delicious, but with gimboga, it's kind of, you can't imagine how delicious it is. Can you see the steam? Really hot. Mm. It tastes like a little mashed potato and nutty. Cold cucumber soup go well with this. I made gimboga in my previous video and this nokduju. It has a lot of protein but really low calorie. So today we made nokduju, mung bean porridge and special garnishes. Kim Buga, you will really, really enjoy. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.